I will say, if you miss your hair, which I've done before, if you miss your hair, this sprayer really sprays. So literally I've like sprayed the wall with little bits of volumizing mousse root lifter situation. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my December favorites here for you today and I've got some really good stuff to share this month. So I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites and then I have some hair care, some skin care, um, some like not already mentioned makeup-y sort of things and yeah, just some goodies to talk about. So let's jump into it. Okay, for overall Friday favorites, I'm just absolutely in love with my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I just think it is precious to look at and I really like the shadows inside and I have just been playing with this non-stop. I have it on my eyes today. It is overall like a very girly sort of palette, but then you can see, I mean, today I have like, I don't know, a blue sort of an eye look because I really love Earl Grey. I think it's such a pretty shade. I don't know, I'm just like loving this palette. It's precious, it's adorable, it's great quality. I already have a review video up on my channel if you wanna see that, I'll link it down below for you. But it's just awesome. For blush, I was thinking through and I really didn't have like a standout, oh my goodness, overall monthly favorite. So I'm gonna mention my Merle Norman blushes again because I kept reaching for these in December. I already mentioned them last month. I've talked about them a couple times in Friday Favorites, but I just absolutely love these. The formula is incredible. They blend like a dream on the skin. These are called the Color Stripes, so All Aglow and Sweet Cheeks. I've already talked about them a ton, so I'm not gonna say much, other than I love them, I can't stop using them, and I really hope that they make this formula, but like these colors specifically, part of their permanent line, because I love them so much. For lips, I just couldn't narrow down, so I love all these. The Manicadar Beauty Simplified, it's the um, like gloss stain something something, this is in the shade All of Me. I love this, this is amazing. I really enjoyed the combination of Max Night Moth with Maybelline's Rich Ruby, made like a really pretty, kind of deep, vampy red lip. Love that combo. And then what I have on right now, I just can't get enough of these Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. These are my favorite formula. The more that I use them, the more that I love them. This is an awesome color. Did I mention, did I say the name already? I don't know, this is Manhattan. I love it though. It's like a gorgeous, deep, mauve purpley color. Yeah, I love the shade, but I really love this formula a lot. So it is that time of year where there are a ton of new drugstore makeup goodies coming out right now, which I just get so super excited about because I love drugstore makeup. So I've been trying a ton, but I'm actually really surprised how much I like this um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation. I wear it in N2. I have this on my skin today. I have it set so it looks more matte on me right now, but I don't know. It's kind of like a light to slightly medium coverage. It's a little bit luminous, but you can build it up. I don't like using the sponge that it comes with. I don't like that application. I just use a Kabuki brush and it works just fine. Um, I don't know. I think it's a really nice foundation for like every day and it's very kind of natural looking on the skin. I think it's kind of fun how you use it. It's a little like, you know, squishy, cushiony type situation. Let me show you real quick. I don't know. It's like just something sort of different and like out of the box. I really do like it though. I just found myself reaching for it multiple times in December and really just kind of shocked that I liked it that much. I think that the Ben Nye Luxury Powders are some of the nicest setting powders out there. They're just so finely milled and such a nice texture that they just set your makeup. They don't get cakey. They don't get heavy. They're incredible. So this month I was playing with this color. This is in Rose Petal and it's kind of like that pinky toned sort of a powder. So Typically, I was just setting my T-zone with it, but I just went ahead and went ham and set my whole face with it today, so I don't know. It's just, because of that pinky kind of a tone, it just is very, like, brightening on the skin and very youthful. It's so pretty. And again, the formula on this, like, the texture of this powder is so finely milled and amazing. It just is good. If you haven't tried the Ben Nye Luxury Powders, they're awesome, but I was specifically loving Rose Petal this month. 
And then I'm really impressed with this Pure Cosmetics Correcting Primer. This is the Redness Reducer. Um, I've never used a redness reducing primer on myself. I've used them on clients before, but just never on me. So this was my first one to ever use, and this really works. I use this in a Get Ready With Me, so you can kind of see it in action. But I have some redness like in the middle part of my face, sometimes on my cheeks. I don't know why, like certain mornings I wake up and my cheeks are red. I don't know if it's how much water I drink the day before or what skincare I use the night before. I don't know, but sometimes I wake up and my cheeks are a little red. So anyway, I have red spots on my skin. So this really does help to cancel that out and really just neutralize it because it's that green color, so it's opposite of red and it just works. Like gives you this like non-red canvas to then put your foundation on top of. So yeah, I really was impressed with this. And then this little guy is really a fun mask to use. This is the Merle Norman Revitalizing Bubbly Mask. It's supposed to do a bunch of good things for your skin. They have a whole write-up about it on their website if you wanna read about it. But basically it's supposed to revive your skin. But what I like about it is that it's just kind of an interesting experience to use it because it literally bubbles on your skin. It smells nice, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, like citrusy. Yeah, kind of like citrusy, but sort of like champagne or something. But you put it on your skin and it starts out kind of like a gel, but then it starts to bubble. And I don't know, it just like gets foamy on your skin. And actually it kind of feels like it's like dribbling down my face, but it's really not. But it feels that way. I don't know, it's just kind of something different, something a little out of the box as far as a face mask goes. I just think it's kind of fun. I think it's fun to play with and then it go it does good things for your skin too. So yeah, if you've, I've never tried a bubble mask before. Have y'all ever used one? This was my first experience with one, but I really think it's a lot of fun. For hair care, I've been using this Ion Volume Solutions Volumizing Root Lift. I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I don't know, but it's basically just one of those like root lifting type moussey type of a deal. So I just spray this um, in my roots when it's when my hair's wet and then just kind of like run it through and work it through my roots. I will say, if you miss your hair, which I've done before, if you miss your hair, this sprayer really sprays. So literally I've like sprayed the wall with little bits of volumizing mousse root lifter situation. So just know, get your aim right on this stuff because it's powerful, it'll go. But anyway, I mean, it does work. It really does volumize and I feel like it really just lifts up my roots so that when I go to blow dry my hair, I just have more volume. So I really do like this stuff and that's a big old can. So I have a feeling this could last me a while, which is a good thing. And then I've been using this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This really does work. I know that there's been kind of a lot of buzz surrounding this dry shampoo. I think because it's marketed as being a different sort of a formula because it says, actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. So I guess it's supposed to actually clean your hair versus whatever other dry shampoos do. I don't even know what they're supposed to be doing, but I, I thought they were supposed to like revive your hair, maybe revive versus actually clean. I don't know, but this does work. I mean, it does eliminate the oil and just help the hair look clean again. So I really do like it. My only complaint is that I don't like spending a lot on spray dry shampoos because I feel like I go through them so quickly. So I'm always like, ooh, I hate spending that much on a dry shampoo. I'll do it with my Preta powder because it takes me a while to go through an actual like powder dry shampoo. But the spray ones, they just seem to go so quickly. So that would be my only complaint. It's a higher end hair care product but it really does work. And then I have been loving some Lush stuff in December. They were so sweet that they sent me a big box with a bunch of their stuff in it. I didn't even know it was coming and then I saw this big box on our porch. I opened it up. Well, first off, I saw it was from Lush and I got really excited. And then I opened it up and there were all these different goodies in there that I got to try out. So I was so thankful for that. And I definitely have some standouts and I have no idea how to show you these because like the bath bomb specifically looks gross at this point because I've been using it but I was trying to save it to show you because I love it so much. It comes in this little bag, which is adorable. And then it looks all cute when you first get it in the bag. This is in the um, flavor, scent, whatever. Well, I'm not eating this, so scent, not flavor. Candy Mountain. And it's it comes like that. <laughs> 
but I've used it down. So I've been purposely trying to save it so I could show you at least some of what's left of it. But anyway, it just, it looks like a little candy mountain and it smells like candy. It really smells so yummy and it kind of like makes the bath more like a bubble bath, not super sudsy, but I don't know, it feels like an experience in the bathtub, just a relaxing experience. And I feel like my skin is really moisturized when I've been using this in the bathtub. So I love this one. I mean, it smells really yummy and I really like the whole bath time experience when I've been using it, but it doesn't look as cute now that I've been using it, but just know, it starts out way cuter, smells amazing, and it really is a fun little bath experience. And then I love this soap. This is in the scent Yognog. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like vanilla, a little bit spicy, like a creamy dessert or something. But I feel like all Lush products kind of have like this undertone, lush sort of a scent. Like even when you walk into the store, that's what it's, that's that smell I'm talking about. And then like the box that I got, I guess it's like the collective scents together. It's like that lush undertone scent. So this has that kind of lush undertone scent, but then that vanilla creamy kind of a top note. I don't know. It smells yummy. It's nice. I think that it cleans well. And then this one I haven't used yet, but I love the way it smells. This is in Snow Cake. Oh my gosh. This one's amazing too. This one's way sweeter. It's more like candy. That one's more kind of like creamy dessert, vanilla. This one's like sweeter, but it still has that lush undertone scent. I don't know what I'm talking about, but hopefully you know what I mean. Like it's that certain, certain lush smell. But they're really yummy. I've been loving those so much this month. All right guys, so those are all my December favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving in December. I always enjoy hearing your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.